It was one of the most shocking cases of child abuse in recent memory. Ten-year-old Anthony Avalos was tortured, beaten, and then died. His mother and her boyfriend are charged, and now other family members have filed a lawsuit. CBS 2's Randy Page is live in Koreatown, where news conference just wrapped up. Randy? Hi, Suzanne. This lawsuit actually has been filed against the Department of Children and Family Services on behalf of Anthony Avalos's family. Here's a picture of that little boy. You probably remember his tragic case. Prosecutors said that he was actually tortured and then murdered by his uh, mother and boyfriend. Both of those are charged and they are awaiting trial. Today, though, attorney Brian Claypool, in front of the Department of Children and Family Services, held a news conference to say that there are similarities between what happened to Anthony Avalos and other recent cases, including uh, the murder of little Gabriel Fernandez earlier and the more recent case, a suspicious death involving Noah Quattro. And that's why he says when you look at all of these cases together, it warrants a $50 million lawsuit against the county. Here's what he had to say. L.A. County DCFS has ignored murder after murder after murder of children in L.A. County, and it's going to take today a $50 million lawsuit to get their attention to bring about the necessary change within the DCFS system. This lawsuit today that we have filed, hopefully, will create transparency within an agency that acts more like the Central Intelligence Agency. Now, we asked the Department of Children and Family Services if they could comment on these allegations. They provided us with a very short written statement which says quite simply that the agency cannot comment on any matters that involve ongoing litigation. Suzanne, let's go back to you.